We're back with senior economist Henning Furpel. Mr. Furpel, was that a bubble that burst in China or, or was it something else? I think it's just a correction of over-optimistic expectations in the market. So I don't think it's a bursting bubble because the situation, the economy in China is still backed by fundamentals. And, and you base that on? Um, on own experience, I've been there in, in China and I've observed that obviously China is on a great transition to more sustained, sustainable growth and um, <clears throat> yeah, fostering investments in education and infrastructure, uh, research and development. So China is seeking for new sources of growth. So you're confident China's on the right path and that China shouldn't be at the top of traders' worry lists? I think so, at least in the medium term. In the short run, there's still panic in the markets, but I'm, I'm quite sure that the Chinese government is able to manage uh, this panic. And where does that put China and Russia, the other big question marks at the moment as far as emerging economies go? I'm much more concerned about Brazil and, and Russia. The problems there are much more um, or are deeper and, and need more political adjustments, strengthening the institutions uh, than in China. Okay, so both Brazil and Russia are rather at the top of uh, traders' worry lists as opposed to China and, and confidence as far as China's path ahead goes. Yeah. Henning Foper, thank you very much. Good to have you on the show. Welcome.